I know it's been a while. I know my GC fans, my George Carlin fans. I, I mean, we, it's been a while. I know I've kind of stepped away from the comedy. I don't know why. I think life was taking me to the music. It was, who knows? But I'm back. And it feels good to be back. All right, I hope you guys are doing well. You guys look like you survived the coronavirus. You guys are looking real good. Don't you lost a couple pounds? Gained a couple pounds if you wanted to. Who am I to say no in the world's so cold? Whatever you decide, you look good. You look fucking good. Let's get to it anyway. Enough about you guys and myself. I'm doing good. You see, we're we got a whole new studio set right now. Uh, we're we're shooting out of a out of a, a, a abandoned apartment that we found. I'm just joking, cause not a, not where I'm from. You'll get your ass locked up for that type of shit, and I don't got time for that. But actually, life has been going good, man. Um, I kind of had to step away for for seven months and just, you know, um, give it all, give my all to this company I started and it's actually starting to pay some dividends and I'm actually very happy, you know, I'm happy now. We just came off a of vacation um, and I'm like, man, why not just fucking invest in things that I need and make this actually work, right? So that's what we're doing. Here at the HQ, that's going to be our new thing where we have a poker table from the MGM that we purchased. We have tons of uh, new ideas that we're going to be doing. Um, gaming, gambling, everything that you can imagine that you would want to do in Manscaped, right? With your friends, right? We're going to be paying attention. We're going to be showing you where we're traveling to. We're going to be doing some bit of traveling this year. But we're going to give it all to you guys. So enough about me. I know you're not here for that. So, so you say. We're going to be taking another look at George Carlin's video. Free-floating free hostility. Now, I haven't seen or been lit, you know, I've just been in my own world. So I've kind of been staying off him because I want to share new things that I, you know, I want this to be organic. So I don't want to watch anything and not be organic. So I'm actually happy to get back into this. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't seen it, go check out the original video, original special, then bring your ass back here. You always want to give respect to the, uh, the original creator. Come on. Don't be savage. Now this next piece of material is real simple. It's called Free Floating Hostility. 24 minor cultural items I'm bored with, tired of, and pissed at. So I hope you're ready for a little random anger. People, people, people who make quote marks in the air with their fingers. <laughs> Are you tired of these people yet? He said he was sober. Hey lady. Eat me! <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. Next guy says to me, bada boom, bada bing is getting kicked right in the fucking nuts. <laughs> bada boom, motherfucker! <laughs> you wanna try bada bing? You wanna try bada bing? Bad hair day. Where did this shit come from? What a superficial culture. Put on a hat and go to work, you shallow cunt. <laughs> Another crime against society. <laughs> Hyphenated names. Hey, lady, pick a fucking name. I would you break that. Hey, I motherfucking... Boy, hey, let me, let me stop the video right here, man. Y'all know I come from a, a community. People are like, I hate a motherfucker that's named Sean with D-E Sean. If you don't write the the Sean the regular fucking way, I'm so goddamn. I'm sorry, guys. I'm over here yelling. And for, I'm just. I'm so tired of it though. Shush. Look, boy. If you don't put Laquisha together, boy, I know. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be getting on my people like that, but that's all I can get them. You know what I'm talking about. If you, it is already crazy to name your child Laquisha. Shout out to all the Laquishas out there. I know some bad ones. But if you don't put that L.A. on that Quisha and call it a fucking day, I'm going to go jack into the video, honey. Hi, I'm Emily Jarakor Fortescue. Hi, I'm George Jerk Me Off. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Another complaint. Too many vehicles. There are some families in this country own entirely too many vehicles. You see them on the highway in an RV. But that's not enough for them. RV's not enough. 
Behind them, they're towing a motorboat, go-kart, dune buggy, dirt bike, jet ski, snowmobile, parasail, hang glider, windsurfing equipment, a hot air balloon, and a small two-man deep-sea diving bell. <laughs> Doesn't anyone just take a fucking walk anymore? <laughs> the only thing these people lack is a lunar excursion module. Too many choices, America. It's not healthy. <laughs> And haven't we gone a little overboard with these colored ribbons for different causes? Every cause has its own Come colored on, ribbon now. Red for AIDS, blue for child abuse, pink for breast cancer, green for the rainforest, purple for urban violence. I got a brown one, you know what it means? Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> Eat shit, motherfucker! <laughs> Getting pretty tired of these guys walking around in cowboy hats and cowboy boots. You ever see these jack-offs? Can't we kill some of these motherfuckers? Walking around a fucking cowboy hat. Grown man. It's not even Halloween, for Christ's sakes. I say, hey, Tex, grow up and get yourself a wardrobe consistent with the century you're living in. And camcorders. Here is technology gone berserk. Everywhere you go now, there's some dick, some yo-yo, some putts. With a camcorder. And he is going to tape everything. Doesn't yeah. anyone in this country just stop and look at things anymore? Sort of take right. them in, maybe even <laughs> remember them? <laughs> Is that just a strange notion? Does, that, does experience have to be documented and brought home and saved on the shelf? And do people really watch this shit? Are people's lives so bankrupt they sit at home looking at things they already did? <laughs> no, These guys real. are so intense, you know? It's always guys. They won't let women touch the cameras. It's a highly technical skill. <laughs> Look through a hole, push on a button, big skill. And they're, they all think they're Federico Fellini. You ever seen him? Oh, no, yeah. Low angle, zooms and pans, and it's the same ugly three children in every goddamn shot. <laughs> All the George Lucas magic in Hollywood is not going to change the unfortunate genetic configuration on the faces of these children. <laughs> Keep these unfortunate youngsters out of public view. Hey, what about right these here? guys who tell you, I heard that. I heard that. Oh, you did, did you? Well, isn't this exciting? What is this, a fucking hearing test? Did I wander into a bell tone commercial here? Of course you heard it, you fucking nimrod. I'm standing right next to you. I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna move Yo, a little farther away. Blow me! By any chance, did you hear that? Now what about these people who tell you their needs aren't being met? You run into this stuff? This is support group shit, 12-steppers. My needs aren't being met. Know what I tell them? Drop some of your needs. <laughs> Life is a zero-sum game. What else is troubling me? Mickey Mouse's birthday being announced on the television news as if it's an actual event. I don't give a shit. If I cared about Mickey Mouse's birthday, I'd have memorized it years ago. And I'd send him a card. Dear Mickey, happy birthday. Love, George. I don't do that. Why? Don't give a shit. Fuck Mickey Mouse. Fuck him in the asshole with a big rubber dick. Damn. Then break it off and beat him with the rest of it. I hope Mickey dies. I do. I hope he goddamn dies. I hope he gets a hold of some tainted cheese. And dies lonely and forgotten behind the baseboard of a soiled bathroom in a poor neighborhood. <laughs> with his hand in Goofy's pants. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. No one and no one in the world takes our country seriously. We waste valuable television time informing our citizens of the age of an imaginary rodent. <laughs> now let me ask you this. The two pandas in the zoo, do you care if they fuck? I don't. <laughs> Why don't they stop telling me on the news the pandas didn't fuck again this year? I'm not concerned. I have no emotional stake in panda fucking, all right? If they want to, they will. If not, they'll watch The Price is Right. Probably the only reason they're not doing it on time is because some jack-off from the environmental movement has moved into the cage with them. Could you get a hard-on if some guy in a green t-shirt with a stopwatch was taking your girlfriend's rectal temperature? Leave these creatures alone. <laughs> yeah, that was... Crazy, bro. That was crazy. I like that. Uh, that was a good one. That was a good one.
Okay, so now I got questions now. What was your favorite? What is your what is your most hated thing? Like, you know, we all have our one thing that I like fucking hate. My thing I'm gonna share with you guys since I'm so open. Um, I hate motherfuckers that gotta take a picture of everything. I respect that because that's why I bet that's why it was so funny to me because my wife is one of those people that gotta take a picture of where she eats food and stuff like that, and that's cool, but like I'm here for the experience. I've always been I'm not of course I wanna take pictures of my kid, but I rather live in the moment, right? I rather live at that moment and say, hey, this is, this is, uh, you know, uh, when I'm laying on my deathbed, I can look back and just remember these thoughts. And because I feel like if we're just recording and thinking about recording, we're not really living in the moment. If I'm sitting here with my fucking phone out, like, oh my God, oh my God, you're really worried more about the phone than the experience. Catching the right angle, making sure you get all the video, making sure your phone's charged. I think it takes so much away from the actual memory. Uh, memories come with smell, touch, feelings, all that stuff. So I think you take away from that, you know. And I think when you're laying on your deathbed and you're fucking realizing what the fuck memories you have was, you know, this bullshit of all the time. Because, we, you know, as human beings, we always want to remember the, the bad things. Because, you know, when you're laying in bed and that memory pops up of you falling in front of all them girls or, the, or you know, that time that you fucking walked in on your mother or dad. That type of shit sticks with us more than anything. So, <clears throat> I mean, my thing is when I'm laying on that dead bed, I, I have all that. So, but to, that's my number one thing. Motherfucker, they got to pull the phone out for every single day. And my wife, she lives in a moment, so she's one of them California, you know, California, uh, what are those things, uh, Four out girl. So she's, you know, she's really in the moment, but she takes pictures of foods, which... Blows my fucking mind. What is your what is your most hated thing that you fucking stand? And if you can have the powers of Thanos, you can snap it away. What are your things? Let us know in the comments. Let me know how you thought about the video. Drop me a recommendation. Um, you know, uh, yeah, man, flood that shit, man. That shit was a good one, man. It feels good to be back. It feels fucking good to be back. Always remember, GC fans, keep it classy, keep an open mind, work, work out.